Okay, now I want to show you the construction of a cycloid. And a cycloid is the curve that is being produced when a circle rolls on a straight line. When a circle rolls on a straight line. So the curve that we that will be produced is known as a cycloid. Is known as a cycloid. So that is what I want to show you now. So whenever you are asked to construct a cycloid, you'll be given the radius of a rolling circle. The circle that is rolling on a straight line, its radius or its diameter will be given to you. So the radius I will be using for this uh, problem is 25 mm, meaning that diameter is 50 mm. Okay? So the construction goes as follows. So draw the horizontal line, horizontal center line. Draw the horizontal center line. So I will be using two methods to show you how to solve a problem like this. And the second one that I will be, the second method I will be using, I'm going to add some uh, something important to it something very very important so i'm going to add it to it so you wish it may be required to do in your exam okay so we have the horizontal and the vertical center line so i said the radius of the rolling circle is 25 mm so i will take 25 mm on my ruler with my compass okay Then I will put my compass at this point. Then draw a circle. Draw a circle. Okay, after drawing this circle, divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Divide into 12 equal parts. So put my compass here. And strike an arc on this circle with at this point and do the same and then bring it here then put it here okay so that is it now we are going to number this we are going to number this in a clockwise direction because the circle is rolling into this side, is rolling on this side. Okay, so now I will call this point. I will call it point zero. That is the starting point. Then this is one. This is two. This point is two, and this point is three. This point is four. This point is five. This point is six. So this is seven, this is eight. So this point is eight, this point is nine. So this point, so this point is 10. Why this point is 11? This point is 11. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then, so we join the point together. We join the point together. So I will join one and seven together with a straight line okay then two and eight with a straight line join them together two and eight join eight join them together and then eleven and five join them together and four and ten join them together four and ten join them together Okay, so we are done with that one. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is that we want to draw a straight line through which this circle is rolling. So we want to draw a straight line. Okay, so this straight line from point zero here, because I said this point zero is a starting point. It's a starting point. So you draw a straight line. 
draw a straight line. So this circle is running on this straight line. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to divide this. Okay, we calculate the circumference of this circle. So after calculating the circumference of the circle, we measure whatever we get on this straight line. We take that measurement on this straight line. Then we now divide that distance into 12 equal parts as we have divided this circle into 12 equal parts. So um, the diameter is 50 and the circumference of the circle is calculated with a formula pi d. So pi is 3.142. 3.142 times 50 will give us 157, approximately 157 mm. So I will take 157 mm on this line from here. 157 mm on this line. So this is so this is where I have 157 here. I have 157 here. Okay, so this is 157. Okay, so this 157, I will call it so distance from here to here. Um so let me call this uh let me call it uh zero prime. Let me call it zero prime. So I'm going to divide this distance zero zero prime into 12 equal parts as we have done for the circle so put your ruler like this and draw a line from here okay so draw a line from here so after drawing the line so you take your compass and extend to any convenient radius extend your compass to any convenient radius so and and make 12 arcs on this line so this is one so this is two so here i have three so this is four five six seven eight Next is nine. Next is ten. Next is eleven. And then the last one is twelve. So I've make I made the twelve arcs on this line. So I will now join the last point. So join the last division with O prime. Join the last last division with O prime. So goes like this okay so I will now draw parallel lines I will now draw parallel lines so I will set my set square like this and so from here so I will shift it to the next point so draw a line next point Next point. Draw line. Next point. Draw line. Next point. So move to the next point. Draw a line. So move to the next point. Draw a line. Move to the next point. And to the last one. So draw line. So I will now number this. So this is zero. So this is one. So this point is one. Well, let me call it one prime. One prime, so this is two prime, this is three prime, this is four prime, so this is five prime, six prime, this is seven prime, this is eight prime, this is nine prime, this is ten prime, and this is eleven prime. So we come back to zero 
okay so after this the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to draw horizontal lines from each of these points so point 1 and 11 they are together so we draw a straight line horizontal line then 2 and 10 they are together so draw a line from 2 so it goes like this so next next we have already drawn 9 and 3 and 9 so next is 4 and 10 so 4 and 10 so draw a straight line then next is 5 and 7 5 and 7 so draw a straight line then last one is 6 okay so draw a straight line so now so with what we have done here so with what we have done here so next thing we are going to do is to draw vertical lines at each of these points so I'm going to draw a vertical line at this point so when it touch this line I'll stop it there so the next is so next point next so next next move to the next one draw a vertical line next next and the last one is here okay so with all these now so I'm going to call this point this center I will call it center CO or C0 so this is where we have what we have center 1 so I will write C1 here this is center 2 I will write C2 here so center 3 I will write C3 here yeah. so center 4 C4 center 5 C5, center 6, C6, center 7, C7, center 8, C8, center 9, C9, center 10, C10, center 11, C11, and this is center CO prime. Because when the circle rolls round, it's, you come back to uh, point zero again. So you come back to point zero when it rose like this. So it, when it rose like this, it will come back to this point. This is the starting point. You come back to this point C zero. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to do is that you take the radius of the circle. Take the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle is twenty five. I can take it from the circle itself. All right so after taking the radius of the circle so put that radius as center one as center one and draw a circle so draw a circle with a center one and draw a circle like this okay now this circle this circle here this circle this circle here that we just produced it cut line one line one this is line one this is horizontal line one so it cut line one at this point just put a dot there so it is better you do it one by one so put a dot there on this line one where the circle touch on line one then move it to Put it at two. Put it at two. Center two. Center C two. Then draw a circle. Draw a circle. Okay. 
okay if you look at the circle this second circle now this circle that we drew with center two this is line two it touched line two at this point it touched line two at this point this is it touch line two at this point okay so next we put it at c3 at center three and draw a circle okay so this circle that we just drew this is line three horizontal line three so you touch it at this point touch it at this point here this is the point okay so next we move to four move to four here this is four so draw a circle Okay, so C4, this is line 4. So the circle touch it at this point. Touch it at this point. Then we move to C5. So with center 5, draw a circle. Okay, so the circle, so you touch line 5. This is line 5. So you touch it at this point. Okay, so next we move to six and we draw a circle. Okay, so this circle, this is line six, it touched it at this point. It touched at this point. Okay, so next you move to seven and we draw a circle with the same radius. Okay, so this is line seven. This is line seven. So the circle, the circle touch it at this point now. Touch it at this point. Touch it at this point. So as we have moved like this, then we'll be moving down what like this now we move downward like this so we have gotten to the maximum point then by the time we we after this point the next point will be falling to be falling so it is this point this is where we have seven so next we move to eight so we move to c8 and we draw a circle Okay, so this is line 8, so the circle touch it at this point here. Then the next one, so we have 9. Okay, so the circle touch it at this point here. So next you move to 10. So we draw a circle. So the circle touched line 10 at this point here. Touched at this point. So and then we move to 11. And we draw a circle. So the circle touched 11 at this point just at this point so zero you don't have to do that so this is the point and for this one this is the point here so this is the point here so this is the point for zero so the next thing we are going to do is to join the point together so that we can form you can produce the curve so starting from here, so I can join this together. Okay. And join this point together.
Okay, so next. So we're almost done. Okay, so this is the <coughs> cycloid. So this is the cycloid. This cuff is the cycloid. It's the cycloid. So it's as simple as I explained it here. So all you need to do is to practice it. All you need to do is to practice it is as simple as I explained here. <coughs> All right, so I said there's another method that we can use to produce a cycloid, and I said I'm going to add something to that. Um, that will be in the next video. That will be in the next video. So I will call this one, I will call it cycloid one, cycloid method one. So that's what I will call it. So practice and subscribe so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Thank you.